morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today's going to be a little bit of everything. Get right away with me. Kind of go over some products. Declutter. Um, I love living in an organized, clean house. Unfortunately, I live with two people who don't necessarily value that. My husband and my daughter. But anyway, I try to focus on what I have control on. And as you can see, there are lots of products. So I'm going to try to declutter even if that's just put it on a shelf and save it for later. Um, I'm also going to basically be decluttering and organizing all of the drawers. I do this quite regularly and then basically they get right back where they were going. Um, so come along with me while we get ready and talk about some products and get rid of some products. All right, so we're kind of starting with a clean slate. I put everything on that drawer out. Um, there are certain things that are just for sure a keep. I regularly use the claw clips and I love these, the thinner um, telephone cord ones are my favorite. So things like that are automatically going back in. I, in reality, need to get rid of this brush. I had gotten this in my Luxley. Um, but my brushes kind of always go here. So there are certain things that I just for sure will keep. I always have my lotions right here. Um, this was something I use quite regularly. I don't really anymore. So this really could be a declutter. I much prefer my T-bar. Um, so there are certain things like that that can be getting rid of. Uh, chapstick is one that I really need to pare down. This is my favorite, the EOS. They also have just a regular stick, um, but I really like it. Um, I just don't really need anything else. Um, I had gotten this Wish in my Luxley, like it, um, really nice, $20. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it, it's kind of petroleum based. Uh, we have Burt's B, and then I just got this uh, Laneige, or however you say it, lip mask. This is a true, very thick, you need to put it on right before you go to sleep because it is just super thick. Um, so if we're decluttering, these three can go, um, and this is really just my all-time favorite. You can get generally like two of the regular kind of sticks for like $5 at Target, Walmart. So in reality, that is my favorite and something I can get rid of the others or at least save them. I have tons and tons of sunscreens. So I'm not going to get rid of any of them, but they're gonna go in my handy dandy thing. I like this. I got this from um, the Fair Trade Friday. Um, but I have lots of sunscreens. So this is just a generic one from Walmart, which I really like. I've, um, as I said before, on my arms and my neck and my, even my face, I don't want a traditional heavy sunscreen. Um, so I definitely like this. This is one I've got in one of my boxes. It's like a $60 sunscreen. I would never pay $60 for this. Dermicide. Um, it says weightless, but I feel like unless you have really dry skin, it does kind of make your face oily. Um, but I love all the ingredients it has in it and uh, happy to have it. We'll totally use this up. I am not sure I recommend this. I had just gotten this, I believe, in a TJ Maxx haul. It was like two of these for like $8. And I will use it up just because I use so much sunscreen here in California. Um, it doesn't leave the sticky feeling. So as far as that, it's fine. But I just noticed a white cast because I put it on my arms, I put it on my neck, um, a white cast in my car. So it does have kind of a white cast. It does soak in, but it was been rubbing off of my car. So I, I don't, I would not repurchase this at all. But again, gonna keep it just because I use a lot of sunscreen. I'm almost out of this one. This is Paula's Choice. I got recommended this by another YouTuber. Um, I think maybe if you have dry skin, this would be better for you. Um, when I first started using it, I was like, no way. I would not, I didn't like it, but um, it's kind of grown on me. This is about $25. Um, the person who recommended it recommended that it puts a glow on. I don't notice any of that. 
Um, I do love that it has kiwi and licorice and other good ingredients. It does make you feel really moisturized. It has, it is not advertised at all of giving a tint. And I don't think it does, but it does have a color to it. When I wash it off at night um, on my little silicone sponge, it comes off looking like makeup, even though I really don't think it adds anything. So if you were a darker skin tone than me, I'm not sure this wouldn't leave a cast since it's a tan color. But again, um, I bought it, would not buy it again, only because it kind of leaves a very thick, heavy moisturized feeling, which is kind of good because it, it you know, it's moisturizing your skin, but then it's, I don't know. I wish it would soak in more, but I will definitely be finishing um, that up. So I'll be back. All right, so I'm still on my decluttering journey. So I know a lot of people recommend these combs for whatever reason, even if I use these combs to detangle, I still personally feel like I need to use a brush. So I don't need this many combs. Um, I've got lots of combs. So some of these have got to go. Um, I've had this forever. You know, I mean well, I get them, I'm gonna use them. I just don't need that many. So I really think I'm gonna keep this one just because it's small and then maybe the pink one here because it's pretty, but in reality, I probably should declutter more than that. These I will probably toss in my husband's kind of bin because he does use this type of comb to brush his hair just in case we lose them. Another thing I need to declutter is clay masks. I, if you use clay masks, I would love some feedback. Um, this was my first ever clay mask that I ever used and I love it. Nothing has lived up to it since. This is $25. I do not like that they changed the packaging. It used to be in a tub like this, um, which personally I think lasted, will, would have lasted longer. Um, so far this is lasting okay, so I could just be picky. Um, but this dries hard, like super hard, and your face feels so smooth after. It just feels awesome. So um, it's got floral lux, which I don't really know what that is. Tea tree, aloe, so BioClarity, it's $25. I've kept wanting to find a replacement because like I said, I feel like the packaging is making it um, not last as long, but I don't really know. So, this I will keep, the Grace and Stella. I was excited to get that in my Ipsy. But it doesn't dry super hard. Now I will say that it does make my face feel soft, not as soft. It is a thick mud mask, but it doesn't harden, which at first I thought was a good thing, but there's something that this one, it was one of those ones that like super, super hard and kind of restricts your, your skin. It just makes it so soft. So this is okay, but it doesn't, dry hard. Um, I just tried this last week. I got this in my um, Goldie box. You mix this up. It has turmeric, coconut fiber, and then can canolin clay. It literally looks like a yellow oatmeal on your face. Um, I broke out crazy. I had a pimple here, pimples here. Um, is that good or bad that a product makes you break out? With a clay mask, I was kind of thinking it's okay because maybe it's getting out all the impurities. But with all the skincare I do, I don't know. So this to me, I didn't like the smell. It was definitely ugly. Not that any of these masks are pretty. So I think I'm gonna declutter it. I don't know. Um, but it didn't really make my face soft. Maybe it had benefits. It's supposed to be brightening. So maybe that's the point. But I just, um, I go back to this is the mask I really want to use. So then last night I tried this. I had gotten this by Minimo, uh, Moxie. It was a pink clay and it's supposed to be, um, what's it called, clarifying. It did not harden. It almost um, stung. Stung's not the right word. Tingled heavily. Um, it also smells terrible, but it doesn't harden. This, again, I don't feel like did anything. My skin wasn't softer, although it says clarifying, so it's supposed to pull out all the impurities. So I think some of these are gonna just go on a shelf 
and I will put them back at work because um, in, in the ladies restroom at work, we kind of, some of, a couple of us like put some of our kind of donations out. So I think I might put these there because maybe somebody else will love them. Um, but if you guys have tips on clay masks, should they make you break out? Like this one does not make me break out. The first time I use it, I kind of expect that, but I'm not sure whether that's true. But I just love this one. And I've been wanting to find a different one that I love because you, to me, you get way more product for a less price. Actually, I don't really know that these are less. This is a way more product. I feel like for less. I'm not sure about these guys. Um, another thing that I feel like I may use one more time, but I'm not sure. Um, this was a, I don't even know how to say that, Com Comedines Jelly Mask. And on first glance, I loved it. I thought that it made my skin feel really soft, but then it kind of irritated my skin. So I think this is a good product, but maybe not for sensitive skin, but I should try it maybe one more time just to see. Something else I should declutter, probably, but I'll keep a few, are these headbands. Um, in my mind, I want to wear headbands. Um, I buy them thinking I will wear them, but they bother me. I get headaches, although this one doesn't feel like it will. So in reality, I have too many headbands that I mean to wear, but pretty much don't. Um, I think the mustard one, I will declutter just because mustard is not my color. Um, but in reality, I mean to wear them, but I never do. Same thing with hair clips. You know, in my mind, people look cute with them and then I want to get them and do something with them, but I don't know. But I do like the headband, so I think I'll keep this style. Um, but this again, maybe I will again save in my school pile that I can uh, maybe pass on to somebody um, that will use it. All right, so all of this stuff over here is declutter. Some of it is simply trash. Um, this is from one of my dry shampoos that I no longer have. Um, this one, again, I might clean up and put in my school um, giveaway pile. I've gotten a lot of this brand in my Therabox, the, um, where is it at? Amina or Aminka? Yeah, Amina. Um, so this sounds wonderful in theory. It's a birthday cake body butter. It literally feels like icing going on. I've tried to use it but it does end up smoothing out, but it literally almost feels like you're putting on icing on yourself when you get it out. So this just isn't for me. Um, so this pile is either throw away, donate, whatever you can do with it. Most of it's throw away. Um, but now I, before the pandemic, literally had a small pouch of makeup. Now I have a caboodle or yeah, caboodle, anyway. Something I was never allowed to have <laughs> growing up for some reason. So I want to declutter this and kind of see if I like some of these products and get rid of some that I don't. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the sort of get ready with me portion before I do kind of the declutter my makeup. I will say I am loving this complex culture and all my brushes at this point, I need to clean them today. Um, but at first I was not sure of this because it's very rough. Like it's still kind of rough and pulls, but this blends so well. And um, I often use this guy, but I feel like it soaks up a lot of makeup when I'm doing it. So I have been really loving this and I'm glad I got it as an add-on. I am not decluttering any of my foundation. I only have three and I, um, this one I could declutter, but I use this on days where I'm only putting makeup on to film. For my job, I have to wear a mask. Next year, it sounds like I'm gonna have to wear masks too. I just do not like wearing masks or makeup with masks. It doesn't transfer. It just feels hot and sticky somehow behind there. So I keep this just almost um, on the days where I'm just doing um, filming and I'm not really doing it for any other reason. Um, this was totally fine, loved it. It's a little bit older, probably could be decluttered, but I'm gonna keep it. But I love both of these. Um, this is the Honest Beauty brand. It's about, I think $22 or so. Really like it, very lightweight. And I've only used this once, and so I'm gonna give this one another go. Um, I liked it the day I used it, but this is a Perlease Youth Grow, Glow Vitamin C, and I love that it's SPF um, 50. So, 
I am starting to feel like maybe I need a winter shade and a summer shade, but we will see. Um, so normally I would not dip it in the foundation first, but I feel like this brush um, transfers it so well that I don't mind. Um, I have also used sponges, so I like both. This is the first brush that I really, really, really enjoy. So this is my second full week being off. Our school, at least for California, gets out super early and then starts super early. Um, my daughter um, goes, she graduates kindergarten tomorrow. I cannot believe she's a kindergartner. I would be interested, do other states have a kindergarten graduation? We did not, at least when I was in kindergarten in Indiana. So it seems sort of silly. Um, to have a kindergarten graduation, but we are. Um, and so my daughter is, I would say more sad. Um, she went to my church's kindergarten this year just so she could have a normal kindergarten um, with COVID. And so they had a very, very small class size. And so she's gotten really close to all of them. So I think she's more sad um, than anything. So there is what that looks like. I love this brush. So usually I had to like extra blend, but I feel like this does a fabulous job. Um, for me, at least the first time I wore it, it just felt so natural. Um, like it just feels like real skin almost. And I like that. I don't like feeling like I had anything. And I almost wondered if I could wear this one under my mask. Now I kind of wonder how well it's doing. Um, as far as color matching, I'll have to play back the video. I know for when I look in the video, um, when it's filming versus when it's playing, it looks different. Um, in the mirror, I almost kind of look gray. Um, but anyway, I do often extra blend just for fun. I have not been putting down a powder um, anymore. Whenever I do powder, it seems to do a lot of creasing and I don't like that. So this is something that I would consider um, decluttering. This is the Tarte Shape Tape um, powder and I love the packaging. I was so excited to get this and maybe I'll try it today, but I just feel like powder uh, isn't good. So if you have tips on powder, um, let me know. Um, as far as powder, I also have a Clinique, which I don't mind this. This is an invisible all skin. So I may keep this one. Sadly, I may get rid of this one. I'll try this today just in the purpose of seeing whether I should get rid of it or not. Um, I do like the packaging. Um, I don't know whether the key is not putting too much on. Maybe I was putting too much on. Um, but I almost felt like, again, it just adds to the creasing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So I think this is going to sadly go because I don't know whether it's on the camera or not, but it just, I don't know, sticks to my hairs or sticks to stuff. So not sure. So this is, I think, going to get decluttered. Um, this is my one, I think my one and only blush. So this. I think I have another blush. No, I don't. Do I have another blush? So this is my one and only blush. I was excited to get it. I'm still not quite sure I know what I'm doing with it, but it's by Ofra. Um, I will say with white packaging, it just gets dirty, but I was super excited to have this. Um, and again, I still feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think it's fun and I'm glad I kept it. I'm glad I got it. Um, I do think it kind of adds life. Again, never know whether I'm really actually putting it on correctly. I really do need to watch some videos. But so this will definitely be a keeper because it's my only blush. This I am going to say goodbye to. This is uh, probably 10 years old, literally, literally 10 years old. Um, this is Hello Flawless by Benefit. Back in the day, my first kind of foray into makeup was just a powdered foundation. Again, what I'm finding right now is powder is not so good. To me, it just sits in my kind of like gel lines and I at least, um, whether it's true or not, I'm not sure I'm a fan of powder. So this is definitely getting tossed as it should be. I mean, it's ancient. Um, so it is definitely going. 
Um, oh, what is this? Oh, this is my powder. I'll keep that one just in case. Um, we have sponges. I I don't even know what brand either one of these are, but I think this is going to get decluttered. I don't like the white sponges because I just feel like they just look dirty all the time. So I prefer black sponges. Um, I don't have that many brushes. This is all my big brushes, so I will keep them. I don't think I want to declutter any of them. They all need clean, so I'm going to keep them out to clean them. Um, Let's see. Oh, another sort of foundation. I love this, but I never wear it. I'm really bad about having too many products out and open at the same time. This is Seeker Repair by Dr. Jart. It's a tiger grass color correcting. Um, it doesn't come in shades. It has SPF 30. It literally goes on green. I don't know whether this works for every skin tone. It works for me. I am very pale. I'm usually the lightest color or one of the lightest colors. It goes on green. When you wash it off in the evening, it's coming off tan. I like this. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. I need to start wearing that. I, heart, I don't think about it. This is something that I feel like I could just put on and go out and I don't need to add anything extra. So I need to start doing that more. Let's see. So eyeshadow is definitely something, <laughs> sadly I need to declutter because I don't think I'm gonna use them. Um, I just got my Urban Decay Moon Dust that I'm so excited to try today. Um, and I kind of, I'm going to declutter my dollar eyeshadow palette. This is what I was kind of using to practice to see if I even liked it. And this is how I learned that I really like kind of like a like shade like this. And I, pro and I also liked this like tan kind of shimmery shade. Um, I had kept, there's the Violet Voss. Um, very pretty. Um, I've only played around with a couple of the shades, but I'm not into like the pink color and the gold for me, I don't know, just is funny. So I may play around with this like a couple times before I get in the shower to see, but sadly, I think, I'm not sure. I don't think people would want this at work, right? Once you've used it, people don't want it. I don't know. Sadly, I'm glad I tried it. Glad I had it. Um, and then I don't know what brand this is, the OMFG. I'm not sure what that stands for. Again, I'm not sure these rose gold pinky tones are my color. Um, so again, I'm going to declutter both of these. Again, I probably will keep them out to practice like uh, an evening before I get in the shower just to make sure. Um, but I love this. I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, it just feels so good. And maybe I'm being dramatic on the powder. I don't know. Something I ordered from Ipsy that I'm super excited about is some brow gel. They had it in the add-on for like $3. I've been wanting to try that. I don't know with my brows being like darker here and way lighter here. I don't know how that will be. Something that I could probably use more of because I don't think these are doing me any favors is eyeshadow brushes. Um, as far as I can tell, but you guys can tell me, this is maybe my only true eyeshadow brush. And then to me, like these three are blending brushes and I don't know if I need three of them, um, but I probably will keep those. This one's so big, I don't feel like it does, it, it can't get in my eyelashes, not eyelashes, but like, I don't know. So maybe, I don't know. I do like having a spoolie. Um, so, but I have two of these. So again, I'm not sure I need both. This one seems better quality, so I will probably end up uh, decluttering that guy. This says pencil on it, so like you would dip it in and make a line. I don't see myself doing that ever, so I'm not sure I need this. And again, with these guys. So I would love to know, what do I do with these guys? Otherwise, I feel like they're getting decluttered. All right, so let's try this. I'm super excited. Uh, I hope I love it because I've paid for it and it's mine. So for $22. So let's try this. But that is just so pretty. And I'm kind of just a more like that's all I need. A little sparkle to lighten my eyes. Yeah. I mean, I know it's very subtle and doesn't do much. But I just kind of like adding a little bit. Just a little bit of shine and shimmer. And then... I assume you're supposed to kind of like blend it. Never know for sure. But yeah, I love the Urban Decay um, 
what's it called? Cosmic. Never ever thought in a million years I would wear eyeshadow. I did not get any tutorials from my mom. My mom was a person who washed her hair, did her hair, did her makeup every day. I did not. I wanted to sleep. I played soccer. So anyway, I bet she's shocked or would be shocked right now that I am wearing eyeshadow. Never thought I would be an eyeshadow girl, but I guess I am. All right, so this is what I put my mascara in. This video is already getting too long. I could go way into the mascaras, um, but I'm just gonna pull this one out. Um, the packaging, I this is a Too Faced Damn Girl. I don't like the packaging. I think it's big and bulky, and this kind of stuff just looks dirty after a while. When I first got it, I was like, yuck. I don't want a big brush, but I do like this formula. It and a brush, it goes on in one stroke. It looks good. You don't really have to do much. Um, it does not flake. It does not clump. Um, now for the name, damn girl, like I really am thinking it needs to be like way voluminous. I don't know. So I don't know if it lives up to its name, but anyway, let's give it a whirl. I just think it's super easy. Um, I never would have thought I liked the big fluffy brushes. In all honesty, I have all kinds of in-between um, in between from tiny and anything in between. And I don't mind this. It's not my uh, necessarily, um, I wouldn't necessarily only buy the big fluffy brushes because I like the thin ones too. Um, but I do think this works really well. So that is what it looks like, um, on. I always, always, even if on this one it is totally not necessary, I like these metal eyelash ones and I just run it through. And if you do have one that clumps, things like this take that away. So I just really like how uh, the Too Faced mascara looks. I feel like it's effortless. I didn't even have to go through with that. And I usually go back on and do at least one more coat. So mascara is something that I was wearing most days um, because at school, that's all I can see anyway is your eyes. So now we're down to lip product and that's where I really, really, really need to declutter. Um, I had just gotten this Tarte, um, oh, I don't even know, Makucha? It's like, a, it says lip, juicy lip. Um, I am more into a natural, um, almost just kind of um, lip gloss kind of thing. And I need to uh, get the, uh, put some more higher up to make it like take the makeup off my lip. But I'm kind of just into natural. So this is definitely staying. Um, I have a lip gloss by Seraphine Botanicals that I really like. So this will stay. Um, I, this one literally way, way over, probably a decade old, so it's gonna go away. It was one of those, the brand's not even on it, but one of those like color stays where it kind of stays and then you have the gloss. So that is getting decluttered. I got this, Mayel. So I like these kind of crayon stick ones. Um, this is also another, um, kind of like lip glossy one that I like by Lancome, but I will keep, I wanted to try the Burst Bees, but this is too dark of a shade. So this is getting decolored, decolored, <laughs> decluttered. So these are two lipsticks. I just tried this one on last week. Theoretically, in theory, it looks like it would be really nice, but for whatever reason, I don't like really thick matte lipsticks. So I love the packaging. This was Girlastic. Um, but sadly it's going to go, um, and I may do the whole shower thing one more time with this one. I kind of like this one because it's a creamier, creamier formula and it's a slightly different color than the other one, but I just feel weird with like a very pigmented lipstick, even though this is very natural shade, like I don't know what to do with it. So I may save this, but in general, I'm more of a color 
gloss kind of person. Um, I'm not sure what category these are, but the lip pencils or whatever they are, I really like. All right, the one thing I didn't do is um, highlighter, and I really, really like highlighter, um, and I prefer the powder. I had gotten rid of so many of the Ofra because um, I didn't think I wanted highlighter. I didn't even give it a try. So I had gotten tons of the Ofra powder from Ipsy that I just kept giving away and I'm sad I did, but I'm glad I kept this one. This is Laura Seller. Um, really, really love um, highlighter. I have a liquid highlighter. This is by uh, Grande Glow. Um, really nice as well, but for me, it's harder. Like I feel like I like the powder better because this sort of almost gets too thick or I'm, I guess I don't know how to make it thinner. Anyway, we have basically declared everything. Oh, I did forget primer, but again, I like this a lot, but I almost feel like primer too starts making it look into um, my lines. But anyway, this is my get ready with me and I kind of decluttered a little bit. Um, anyway, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. So I should have showed you the before and after on the caboodle because it's a huge before and after. Um, but here is my first drawer, my second drawer, which may not really look any different. Um, and then my last drawer, which is a lot different. So anyway, thank you for joining with me on my decluttering and get ready with me.